Neuroplasticity is, uh, you know, that's a, that's a core foundation of what, what's important about the mind. And neuroplasticity is basically means that the brain is adaptable. The brain is always changing. And there's a, neurons in the brain are responsible for thought. They're responsible for all of our ideas, our habits, our movements. Um, and as we do the same things and think the same things, we develop patterns. And those are called neuropathways or habits. So... Um, we realize now, and, and science has proven, that the brain is adaptable. The more we reinforce something, the more it becomes real and secondary in nature. So if we look at uh, driving as a good example of this, we've all been on the phone driving, and you know how we get there. Well, we're driving unconsciously because we've done it so much. It's unconscious. It's, we've got a lot of neuropathways there. And when we can begin to... Um, create new neuropathways. And the cool thing is, the more we use our new neuropathways, the, the more we create new beliefs, new thoughts, new patterns, uh, the more we use them, the more they become habit. And then these other ones that we're not using anymore um, begin to go away. So when we look at um, the brain has the ability to um, use different parts of itself. And so when we look at addiction, they talk about it as a brain disease of reward. And whether people agree with that or not, if that's true, and I'm not saying that it is, but let's just say that it is true, well, when neuroplasticity proves that we can actually use other parts, of, that we can heal the brain, that we can retrain the brain to be normal again, and it's a scientific fact. So anybody that's struggling uh, doing things over and over again that they don't want to do, uh, suffering from addiction, suffering from anxiety, all of that, if by not taking neuroplasticity into consideration in their healing process and their treatment plan is missing a giant opportunity to get well. well when we understand neuroplasticity and we, we can actually incorporate it into the treatment plan, then we can um, create new neuropathways, new ways of thinking and being in a much quicker and more organized way. And we can help the brain to become more organized quicker. And so people will feel better. And then they can recreate new patterns that don't include disease or addiction as the primary thoughts and their primary motivations. Um, that science helps us to create new primary motivations that are more in alignment with who we are. So that science actually documents the fact that people can get well and they can stay well.